everyone now i am here with my next video of loops in this i want to tell you how we are having loop inside loop that is nested loop now we will consider programming of nested loop and how we are having nested loop with us now see when loops present inside another loop then it is said to be nested loop any loop present inside any of any loop it is said to be nested now nested for means for loop within for loop is said to be nested for loop how we are having one for loop it is said to be outer for loop. when we have outer for loop and inside that outer for loop we are having inner for loop then it is said to be nested for loop now see same in the case of while also when we have while within while it is said to be nested while we are having initialization while condition then inside it in the body we are having again while loop which is the inner while loop and we are after body we are having increment or decrement it is said to be nested while now see nested do while the same thing do while within do while is said to be nested do while means initialization then do the body part we are having again do while and then increment decrement and then while condition it is said to be nested do while now moving further with the example if we have to display numbers from 1 to 5 in one line this activity we have to done in five different lines first of all first activity is we have to display 1 to 5 in one line how see in this way we are having for j equals to 1 j small than equals to 5 and j plus plus we will display our j in one line by placing space now what we get 1 2 3 4 5 from this loop and the same task i want to do five times in different different lines same task, same activity I am doing 5 times. Then, this, the same activity here I am writing and on the top of that activity I am writing one loop which executes 5 times. And then I want to change the line. And then see, I am ending it. What I am getting by writing this logic. What I am getting? See, it executes one time when i equals to 1 i smaller than equals to 5 it execute the body part and when it is executed see i am getting this and after that we have to change the line see after changing the line we are again getting the same thing five times now conversions of for while and do while See what happened. The outer for I am writing here initialization, here the initialization, while condition, do while, and the body part will be started. Now all the body part will be started, and we are having another for within the for. See in this way we are having, and here we are having while another while inside it we have to write here we have to do write do while inside it we have to complete a do while now see increment decrement of outer loop we have to write now we have to end all the loops one by one how we have to convert either somehow we are getting for and we have to convert for into while and we have to for convert for, for into do while. Any of the situation is come in front of us. Now what we have to do. If we are having for with us. And we have to convert it into while and do while. I told you earlier in, in my videos. How we will convert our for into while. And how we will convert our for into do while. How we convert while into do while. The same thing we have to do here also. See. The initialization part is here. I'm writing initialization, then initialization here. The condition part is here. 
condition part is here and increment decrement is placed here in the last in same thing we have to do body of outer body of do while inner for means inner while the same thing i'm writing again in inner do while in this way you can have your questions also for conversions you are getting for and you have to convert it into while you are getting for you have to convert it into do while i or you you can get while and you have to convert into for or and do while you can have uh, do while also and uh, you have to convert it into while and for now see how if you are having a question of for while do while and you have to convert whatever given in do while and you have to convert it into for how see you have to first of all concentrate how for works for works in initialization condition and increment decrement you have to search first of all the outer part outer part of do while is initialization here condition is written here always and increment decrement is in the last you have to combine all three of them and you have to create for outer for now what inside it you have to write inner for how you are getting inner for see initialization you have to find then condition is here then increment decrement is here initialization condition increment decrement see inside body part you are having only to display j you have to write this and after that see something is left to write this is system outer print in where we have to write it is a part of outer loop that's why after inner we have to write this this is the conversion of do while to for and how i am going to convert do while to while it is a easiest thing to convert while to do while and do while to while because somehow the syntax is same we have to place do in place of while and we have to pick while from here and we have to place it here in this one we have to place here that's it and we have to remove it from here it is conversion of while see how initialization same thing in place of do i am writing while again everything in place of do i am writing while everything is placed in the same position except do and while in this way you have your conversions in your paper somehow you are getting this sort of questions and you have to face and you have to go with it don't be confused with it you have to keep in mind what is the syntax of each and everything and when you are clear with the syntax you are not going to face any of the problems still you have any problem do consult with me otherwise goodbye and good luck